Hello everyone. A very good morning to all. Hope you all are safe and doing good. Today we have one more problem from previous year's question paper. This question was asked in the year 2016 for 30 marks. A horizontal square prism, side of square 40 mm, length of the prism 70 mm, having its square faces parallel to VP. It is resting centrally with one of its rectangular faces on the top circular face of a cylindrical disc. Base diameter 90, thickness 25 mm. Draw isometric projection of the combination of solids. Show the axis of each solid. Indicate the direction of viewing. Give all dimensions. Here. In the combination, first solid is a cylindrical disc, or you can say it's a cylinder or circular slab, and second solid is a square prism. Now, cylindrical disc is resting on one of its circular face on the horizontal plane or on the ground, and the square prism, horizontal square prism means axis of the square prism is parallel to HP. So the square prism is resting centrally with one of its rectangular faces. On the top circular face of the cylindrical disc. So here, first we have to project the cylindrical disc. Then we we'll locate the center of upper circular base, and then from the upper circular base or from the center, we have to start projection of square prism. For circular base, we know that the helping figure for a circle will be a square of same diameter. So first we have to project square of size ISO 90. So marking limits of ISO 90 along first and second axis along first and second ISO axis, and then we have to draw lines from the ends parallel to first and second ISO axis, parallel to first and parallel to. Second okay, this is the base, this is the helping square projected on the horizontal plane. Now from all four corners, we are required to draw vertical lines for a length of 25 because 25 is the slab thickness. So from all four corners, Drawing vertical line parallel to third axis for a length of ISO 25. ISO 25 up, ISO 25, and from the last corner, ISO 25. Okay, now we have to join all corners. After this, using full center method, we have to complete projection of the circle. So, for full center method, we know that first step is we have to bisect all four sides of the square, all four sides of the upper square, and all four sides of the lower square or base square. Okay, next step for upper square, we have to join opposite corners, diagonally opposite corners. Next step, from midpoint to opposite corner, from midpoint to opposite corner, from midpoint to opposite corner, and from midpoint to opposite corner. So, we have all four centers. Starting from first center, this is my first center. This has radius. First part. Second center, and this is second radius. Second part. Third center and third radius. Third part. Fourth center and fourth radius. Fourth part. 
Now we have to repeat this process for bottom base or lower base. Again, first diagonal or larger or longer diagonal. Next step from midpoint to opposite corner, midpoint to opposite corner, from midpoint to opposite corner, and from midpoint to opposite corner. This is my first center, second center. This is the center, third center, and this is fourth center. Now here for bottom base, we know that only front portion of the circular base will be visible. So starting from this center, this is radius, first part, then second center and second radius, third center, third radius, this is radius. Okay. Now here, from the extreme point on the circular or on the elliptical portion of the base to the corresponding point, this is the generator. Okay, this is first point and this is second point. Both points are points of intersection of curved portion and diagonal. So this is generator. Next, we have to draw center lines parallel to first and second isoaxis passing through all four midpoints of the square. Basin for lower base. Let's assume that these two points are coinciding point. Okay, now from top center to bottom center, top center to bottom center, this is solid axis, solid axis for the slab. Okay, this is the point and this will be the final curve or final shape. Right. Now, second solid square press, horizontal square press is resting, is resting on its rectangular face on the top circular face of the disc. It means in the upper circular face, the square prism is resting centrally on its rectangular face. And for the press, sides or square faces are parallel to VP. So if we are observing from this direction, if this is my direction of viewing or observation, then both square ends, square ends are parallel to VP. So for this direction, these square faces, these square faces are parallel to VP. So we have to start our construction work from the horizontal or from the face from the rectangular face for which side of 40 side of the square or side of length 40 will be on this side and length of the generator or length of the prism 70 mm will be on this side. So from the center we have to mark limits of 70 and 40. So, marking limits of 70 and 40, half of 70 along second isoaxis, half of 70 on second isoaxis, and half of 40, which is 20, along first isoaxis, half of 40, 20 along 
first time success. So these are four points. Now drawing lines through these four points parallel to first and second isoaxis. First and parallel to second isoaxis. So this is the rectangular phase of the prism of the horizontal prism. Now from all four corners, these are four corners of the face. You have to draw lines parallel to third or vertical axis. So from first corner, here the length is equal to 13 and half. 13 and half. This is the final projection of the square prism. Now, we have to show all visible sides and generators of both solids. So, for a square prism, this front square face is completely visible. Then, these are visible generators. side is visible side. So these are visible sides and generators of the square prism. Now for disc front portion of upper disc generator and front portion of lower base. This is visible part. And then dimensioning. What dimensioning? We have to draw lines parallel to first, second or third isoaxis for both extension and dimensioning line. This side is 40 mm. Okay, one more thing we have to show central axis or solid axis for the press. So drawing central lines for front base and for second base or rear base. Central line will pass through all four midpoints. And then from front center to rear center. This is solid axis. Here this generator will dominate. Generator will dominate. Okay. So in this case, both axis, axis of prism and axis of the disc, these axes are intersecting axis. Now dimensioning. From center line and dimensioning line parallel to solid axis, axis 70, height of the disc or circular slab, height is 25, and diameter, diameter of the circular slab, is 90. last direction of viewing preferably from the center of the base along second isoaxis or parallel to second isoaxis. This is the direction. Last labeling or naming of this 
Drawing. So this is the final answer. This is the projection, isometric projection of the given combination. Here, the square prism is resting on one of its rectangular faces centrally on the circular face of the disc, and both square ends or square faces are parallel to BP for this direction, and the circular disc is resting on its circular base on the HP. I request you to please draw this projection indicating direction of observation, direction of viewing, do all dimensioning. Please write heading of this drawing. And if you have any problem, any doubt in this question or in any other question of engineering graphics related to isometric projection or related to any other topic, please write your comments on the comment section. Thank you.